Now, breaking news on News Channel 8. Good evening. I'm Keith Cape. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. We have some breaking news we want to start with. Take a look at this. A fiery pileup wreck on I-75 tonight means you might need to find another way to work in the morning. That's because the interstate is still closed. At least one person dead. Multiple agencies still investigating. Eight on your side's Victoria Price joining us live near the scene. She has the latest. Victoria. Good evening. This is the on ramp that drivers were using to get off of the interstate after being stuck for hours tonight. As you can see, northbound 75 is still closed, and you can expect it to be closed for quite some time. I 75 northbound shut down Wednesday night after a fiery, fatal chain reaction crash near the Hillsborough Pasco line. At least eight vehicles involved, including two semi trucks, one of which burst into flame, as seen here from Eagle 8 HD. Angela Rodriguez is one of countless drivers who were stuck at the gridlock for hours. When she finally got off 75 and pulled up to this 7 Eleven, she couldn't help but think, oh, thank heaven. Actually, it's on zero right now. But it was one, it was down to one mile when I finally turned around and got off. The cause of the wreck is still under investigation. Pasco Fire Rescue says one person died, another six were hospitalized, and two others walked away. An electronic interstate sign was also heavily damaged. To say chaotic on the scene would be an understatement. Rodriguez never got to where she was going Wednesday night, but says her frustrations are nothing compared to what some families are now facing. I can't imagine some of the phone calls that are probably being made right now, so um, that's what I'm thinking about. And I'm happy that I'm going to get to go home tonight. As of right now, there is no estimate for when the northbound lanes of 75 may be reopened, and there's a couple of reasons for that. For one, the highway patrol, they'll have to go in and do a complete reconstruction because this was a fatality accident. And then after that, the uh, FDOT, the Department of Transportation, they're going to have to go in and check the structural integrity of that interstate sign that was hit during this chain reaction crash. Reporting live in Tampa tonight, Victoria Price, 8 on your side.